Hi, my name is Teddy Pagbiakasuma, also known as Mr. Metaverse. The Metaverse is the next iteration of the Internet, an embodied Internet. The networks, the protocols, big data, cloud services, edge computing, the wall infrastructure, including the devices, from the servers to the smartphones, the computers, and all connected objects. This is information technology as we know it. Now, imagine when we had an overlay of emerging technologies, technologies that can each disrupt entire industries, such as blockchain and all of its derivatives, from decentralized finance to cryptocurrencies, to the digitization of ownership and peer-to-peer -peer transaction of any asset in the world, physical or digital. The NFT craze is one of the manifestations of this. But we are still very early. If we just keep expanding from there to impact real-world asset ownership and real-life transactions, then we have virtual reality, allowing us to create totally immersive worlds where we can defy physics and represent everything we can imagine, including ourselves. In addition to sight, Sensory systems like aptics will make this immersion more and more real. We have augmented reality, which takes on its full meaning when we pay attention to the words augmented reality. It's all about adding an overlay over the real world and reaching it with an extra layer of information and immersive experiences. And in between virtual and augmented reality, we have all mixed reality technologies. We have artificial intelligence, which is getting more and more better, and is totally changing the way our societies function. Soon, we will be talking to avatars and won't be able to distinguish them from real humans. It might be the case already. The metaverse is the new reality that emerge from the assembly of all of the use cases when we start converging several of these technologies. And there is no such thing as many metaverses. It's like saying there are many internets or saying that a website is the internet. It makes no sense. We have one internet, the assembly of all of the websites and applications that constitute this intangible space including the use cases emerging from it. Internet, interconnected networks. As there is only one internet, there is only one metaverse. The assembly of all of the platforms, applications, and use cases that emerge from the convergence of these technologies. In sum, the metaverse, it's not the technology itself. It's not a virtual real estate platform. It's not a blockchain game. It's not even an intangible space. The metaverse is the moment in time and history when we can use technology to blur the lines, if not totally remove them, between the digital realm and the physical world by merging the both together. It took 42 years to Apple to reach a market cap of 1 trillion and only 4 years to reach almost 3 trillions, 10 times faster. The largest transportation company in the world is Uber. Its market cap is 68 billion, 4 times more than American Airlines. And you know what? Uber doesn't own any car. Tell me about Tesla. A market cap of more than 800 billion, more than the combined market cap of the 10 largest car makers in the world. Why? Because Tesla is not a car maker. Tesla is a tech company making cars amongst other tech products. They are gathering data from their cars in real time, and the customer can update and improve their vehicles using internet connectivity the power of AI and data. As a black man, 
born in Africa, raised in Europe and being a world citizen. The historical Harlem Renaissance is for me the starting point of a global modern black culture, art, entertainment, music, business. And coming from an underserved and underrepresented community, it means a lot to me to be on this platform to share my story. A story of a child who grew up with everything sci-fi, from comics to movies. A tech nerd absorbing American culture through the expression of the black community and building my identity from all of these multiple inputs, the European culture and my African roots. The advent of the metaverse is the renaissance of the internet as it was meant to be by its early adopters and builders. A place of freedom, solidarity, where we can share knowledge, ideas, and act together to benefit all. A free world. And this free world is for all. The internet is a nervous system of our world. There cannot be a renaissance of the internet without involving everyone. There cannot be a metaverse without involving everyone. In the digital age, connectivity should be a human right. Same goes for individual sovereignty in this new space, starting by private data ownership. I am privileged and fortunate enough to have a platform. I want to use it to speak up for the unheard. I want you to know that the world is moving and it's moving fast, faster than ever. We have now the opportunity to do things differently. This kind of opportunity happens once in a civilization. Let's do it better. Let's all on board and be part of the change. Thank you, Harlem. Thank you, everyone.